Hey everyone, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So I am very happy to be talking to you through my new microphone. Got really tired of all the problems I was having with recording on the previous one and decided to spring for a new audio setup. So hopefully this sounds good to you. Uh, if not, uh, well, sorry, it was quite expensive. So I'm going to stick with it and that makes editing a lot easier. So uh, today we're going to be going to talk to the young noble in the Sasau Tavern. Um, we're going to be taking his place as a new novice in the monastery. So that'll be interesting. Uh, we have to do this in order to get into the confidence of Pius, um, so that we can infiltrate, uh, that facility. We have to go in there and kill somebody. It's quite complicated, guys. We're, we're becoming holy and stuff so we can assassinate someone. And yeah, I don't know. So, uh, let's see here. We have to go to Sasal, right, and then go to the tavern over here. Yeah, the tavern right here. So let's go ahead and fast over the monastery here in Sasal. then we'll go south from there and see what's what. Uh, let's see here, attack on the road, of course. Of course we'll stop and we'll get some ownage going here. Oh, I don't Come have, here, I don't have my... Fucker. I'll punch you, go for you. Okay. Maybe I'll just do this mounted. Where is my, why is my, um, I'm pressing one. Hold on. Wait a minute, Henry. Henry, where is your weapon? Why is it not equipped? Put that on, you silly, silly boy. Uh, let's see here. Put that on to... And that... Okay. I wonder why it was unequipped. Pull out your... There you go. You get what for. You say so. Oh, well. I guess you got what for, didn't ya? Are you dead? No, you're you're twitching though. All twitchy, aren't we? Well, let's put an end to that. Ah! Henry, put away your torch. It's the middle of the day. Ah, uh, you just take it all. And can I can I get my sword? Can I crouch? Can I get the sword here, please? Or is Kathanka? No, hold on. Uh, Burger sword. Those are always worth a couple hundred. All right. Back on the mount we go, back on our way, of course. It's not a regular day uh, riding across the country in Kingdom Come in Bohemia unless you are stopped and accosted by someone that wants to rob you or worse. All right, on our way. Oh my God, it's another one. Okay, why not? I don't actually have my controller plugged in, so I'm going to pretty much do mounted combat so I don't have to worry about it. So where- oh, there he is. Why can I not- Okay, this is not- this is not working. This is not working at all. I couldn't swing. Some kind of bug. Sorry, Kathanka. Would you- for the love of- Henry! Pull out your goddamn sword! You freaking idiot. I think Henry's just so overpowered now that I can just kind of, well, maybe not. No, actually, okay. Actually, okay. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pause and go and plug in my controller. I might have to restart. Well, hold on, I'll do it after this fight. Okay, please. Please die so I can... Just stop backing up. There we go. That's much better. Okay. Let me guess. Gonna be over encumbered already. Yeah, pretty much. What'd you have? Like a spear, looks like. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and plug my controller in because this is not gonna work out and I have to transfer stuff to Kathanka here, so give me a moment, guys. I'll see you once we're over at the inn over there. It shouldn't be much further now. I think we're just about there. Yeah, I'll probably just ride over from here. All right, guys, here we are at the tavern. Let's find this guy. Still have not found work for our old friends. Sorry, guys, I, I really am. But, uh, you know, got things to do here, man. So let's see, where is this young novice guy? I'll bring it right away. 
Guardian Manfred. Did they say what his name was? I don't. Here we are. I don't quite remember. Uh, let's see here. I shouldn't kill Pius, but secretly whisk him off to the bailiff. As far as sneaking in the monsters, and he just shrugged. Okay, so maybe he's like named novice. Let's let's try Carl here. I'm on the novice a Carl. Such as you take. Yeah, yeah. Are you Carl by any chance? Well, his name was Carl, so uh, yeah, I suppose he is. Are you Carl by any chance? I am. Why do you ask? I've heard that you're bound for the monastery. Yes. Yes, it's One true. Beer. But I've convinced my God faithful save, guardian, Manfred, to give me a few more right. days of freedom. Right. Mind you, he won't let me visit the brothel. So instead, I'm devoting those days to the demon drink. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Henry. Pleased to meet you, Henry. Let's see, what if I enter the monastery instead of you? Um, oh, so we could, uh, I, I could drink with him. Could we speak in private? Could we speak in private? I have some, um, issues with the monastery. Really? Well, I'd love to talk about it, but we won't have privacy as long as Manfred here has his head permanently stuck up my arse. Get rid of him for me, please. Okay, okay, so... If maybe if we oh god this FPS is awful. Let me see if my graphics settings are like off or something. No, the FPS is still just got awful. Here, Sorry guys, I don't, I don't know what to say. It's just bad. I okay, so let's one of us. Let's um. Oh, I see. So he's not gonna drink. All right. So can I can I do some savior schnapps here and just in case I screw us up really badly. All right, let's get a save in. There we go. Um, so let's see, Manfred. You need to loosen up, Manfred. There's something I'd like to talk about. Please bring me something to eat. Wait, didn't I talk to Guardian Manfred? Hey, what if I it. entered the monastery instead of you? I would give you your weight in gold, if I had any. But Manfred there. My guardian angel and caretaker has all the coin, and he never takes so much as a single step away from me. If you help me get rid of him... Um, he's been listening to us the entire time. So what? Listen, friend, let's raise a glass. Manfred here is a sleepy old goat. We can talk once he dozes off. Please, get rid of him for me any way you can. That, that did not make any sense at all. Okay. So wait until he dozes off, and then we can get Carl out of here. So what? Like, wait till night, nightfall here? Is that what we're going to do? How's how's my uh, nourishment's good? Okay. Um, sure. Let's just wait a while then. Let's try that and see what happens. Okay, guys. What? You won't celebrate my final hour. You're carrying on as if you're dying. I might as well be. I'll, I'll be me. buried alive among those monks. Wench! Drinks for everyone with a right heart in their body. That. To my imminent demise! Okay, can I talk to him now? What do you need? Okay, here, I can actually talk to him now. All right, um, are you Manfred, the young lord's guardian? Of course he is. You're Manfred, the young lord's guardian? Indeed I am. Why? Uh, let's see here. I think we have a better chance of this. Care for a drink? You must have a mighty thirst. Waiting here with him for days, just watching him get drunk, and not having a sip yourself. There's no doubt I'd enjoy a drink. Heaven knows I deserve it, but if I dull my senses in the slightest, that rogue will surely get up to mischief. So let's drink together. And if you start to feel unwell, I'll keep an eye on him. Like you said, you deserve some fun. I can see you're a real nice. lad. So what shall we have to drink? And while we're at it, why not have a little game? Oh, nice. We're getting some dice. Okay. Okay. 
All right, let's see here what we got. The service is a bit slow here. Oh, tonight. oh, get wrecked, Manfred. Okay, yeah, hold, hold, hold. No, don't hold that. Hold that. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's just score and pass. Actually, hold on, we can hold that too, right? Yeah. Yep, we're good. Score and pass. 1300, man. First roll. That good luck, though. I'll have a beer. Pretty weak no, there, you. Manfred. Pretty weak, man. Not want to take Only any risks one. there, are you? Um. Ones and fives, right? And then, uh, yeah, let's uh, score and roll again. Oh, come on. Whatever. We we got 1,300 on our first roll. I think we're good. Really? Mm. You only kept the one five? Not the one? You're not... I thought you had a one there, Manfred. You're not very bright there, man. No point in pushing it. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, threes. Yes, we'll take the threes and the five. And uh, you know what? That's fine. Just go ahead and score and How pass. How much longer must I wait? Man, calm down. Your turn. Um, nice. We got three threes and sixes don't do anything for us, right? No, they don't do anything for us at all. So I guess we'll, um... Let's not push it. Score and pass. What's the hold up there? We're so far ahead, I'd rather just take the guaranteed, you know? Christ, should I? Shouldn't I? Man, this guy... This guy has no balls at all. None whatsoever. Alright, let's uh, hold the one and roll again. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. One, the threes and the five. Yeah, okay. That's uh score and pass. Yeah, good. Finished. Of course you are, Manfred. Of course you are. Uh oh, okay. We'll One just over here, hold please. everything, I guess, because that's all scorable. Five hundred's not bad. You're screwed, Manfred. I hope you know that. Hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we just need like those. What's the hold up? Hey, hey! Oh, and hey. yeah, we're done. All right. So, how about that? So, what now? So he's drinking. Very good. All right. All right. Talk to him again or what? One aisle, please. Here we are. Okay, we got the objective complete. Cool. Is he going to pass out now? There. Satisfied? Well, he's going somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's, he's drunk. Look at him. Any Look at him. He can barely walk straight, man. He's gonna go fall down. All right. All right, Carl. Coming. What the hell? It's time. Manfred's taken care of, just as you wanted. Thank God. He won't let me out of his sight for a second, and he's itching to get me in the monastery so he can head back home. So, why are you being sent to the monastery, Carl? Why are you being sent to the monastery? Like every lusty young lad, I'm fond of fair maidens, but I got too fond of one, and let's just say she was, um, indisposed for nine months. But they don't send you to the monastery for that. They do, when it's the daughter of the Lord of your feet. Shit. Shit is putting it mildly. The Lord of Bukova was less than pleased. He knows he'll never marry off his daughter now, so he gave father a choice. Either 
pay him 1,000 groschen in compensation, along with my balls on a silver platter, or pay 1,000 groschen and put me away somewhere no one will ever see me again. God damn, 1,000 groschen and ooh, man, that's rough. Well, at least you kept your balls, but uh, not going to get to use them too much in the monastery there, are you? Um, so why is your guardian with you constantly? Why does your guardian never leave your side? So I don't run away. Of course, I'm free to walk around, but he watches every step I take and won't stop until I'm behind the monastery walls. Well, he's not watching you now. What good is that to me when he has all the money and even my saddle and riding cloak under lock and key? Um, so why don't you just run away, man? Why don't you just run away? Bear asked, what the hell would I do? I don't know how to work, I have no money, and that old bastard's even taken my cloak. He has me in the palm of his hand. But there are poor people everywhere, and they get by somehow. If I have to choose between hunger and poverty on one hand, and the monastic life on the other, I'm afraid the monastery wins. If I could only steal that old man's pouch, I'd be gone faster than lightning, and no one would ever see me again. Okay, so we gotta steal a pouch. All right. Uh, so what if I entered the monastery instead of you? What if I entered the monastery instead of you? What? Voluntarily? You don't look like someone who'd want to spend the rest of his days on his knees praying. But that's your problem. You could only enter the monastery if you know how to read and write, and if you have a special writ from the abbot. That's a letter confirming they know who you are and that they've accepted you. So you give me your writ? I'll just tell them I'm you. Manfred has the writ. You'd have to take it from him, but he only puts it down when he sleeps. So I'll steal it and then you can disappear. Disappear? Bear asked, what the hell would I do? But there okay, are so people every if I got it. Okay, got it. We got it. So we got to get the money That's and the writ for Carl here from Manfred. So where did where did Manfred go? I'm sure he's up in a room somewhere. Most likely. Let me see. Do we have a marker here? All right. So steal the guardian's purse and steal the writ. All right. Let me see here. All right. Looks like he's maybe upstairs on the far. It could be this one too. No, there's no one in here. All right. So there's going to be a bit of thievery going here. So let's go ahead and take off our armor and stuff. All right. Anybody, uh, anybody looking? I don't think so. I think we're good. This has got to be the guardian right here. It's not even, um, it's not even private area, so I think we're good. No one's going to get mad. Okay. Well, if we're going to be doing this, we need to get some beer going here. I could knock him out, too. Or I, I could kill him. That would be really bad. Um, I think I'll just try this. We're still good. I think we're still good. Really? Um, that wasn't it. Well, where the hell is the red app then? Man, do I have to rob him? Uh, we're gonna have to knock him out, aren't we? All right, this is really risky. I, I don't want to screw this up, so we're gonna have another save your schnapps here. Sorry, Manfred. Okay. Well, we can loot him now. All right, there we go. Take that. The purse. And, um, you know what? We'll just... We'll just take everything. My pleasure. 
It's all for a good cause, right? It's okay. Okay, let's put our stuff back on here. Okay, we are good to go. All right, Carl. It's all set, man. God save Henry. I've got what you need. Excellent. Give me the purse. You can do as you like with the ring. Hmm, I can give him half or uh, the entire contents. Whatever, man. Take the, take the whole thing. Here you are. Good luck, no matter what you plan on doing with those monks. Best be on your way now before Manfred finds out that he's been robbed. And what are you going to do? Get my things together and disappear. I want to be as far away as possible before that old man even knows I'm gone. Well, good luck, Carl. At least now you don't have to be a celibate monk, I guess. All right. So, um, you know, it's, uh, well, I was going to say it's getting kind of late. We could just stay here, but it probably is not a good idea considering what we just did. Actually, I should get some food, though, real quick. But, yeah, once I get some food here, then we'll go over to the monastery and make our way in. All right. So, next step here is, let's see here. Yeah, go to the monastery as a novice and fast travel up here, and we will become a monk, apparently. Okay, guys, here we are. Brand new day. Uh, Brother Porter, can I talk to you about getting in? Oh, yeah, I am the novice Carl. I'm expected in my armor and I'm everything. Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. Um, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah. Brother Porter. What of it? I'm here, aren't I? Well, you're a bit bold, aren't you? Well, the brothers will soon knock that out of you. Well, we'll see. Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? Not really, but yeah, why not? I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monk's robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Ugh. Okay. Well, that blows, not gonna lie. So, put away all my worldly goods. Um, so where is the, in the gatehouse, he said? Okay. I definitely don't trust these guys with my armor and stuff, so I'll probably take all this stuff back over. Is this it? Yeah, this is it right here. Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Wait, did he just like... I didn't really mean to do that. Hope, I better get my stuff back, man. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life.
Love how Henry has no idea what he's doing. Brothers in Christ, we have gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum, et vivam. Et non confundas me ab expectatione mea. Oh God, oh no, oh no. Suski pe me domine secundum. In loquium tuum vivam, et, et non confundas me ab expectatione me. Uh. <laughs> oh God, Henry. Accept your new name, Brother Gregor and wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. Good job, Henry. Good job. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Okay, um... Yes, thank you for prompting me. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Uh, yeah, I'm being punished. I'm being punished. If it were up to me, I'd still be spending my days in taverns and my nights with whores. I don't envy you. Unfortunately, you're here for the rest of your life. Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite... unexpected. Let's go then. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Make sure to read it this evening. So you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. Remember one word. Discipline. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. If you say so, man. So, uh... Peace be with you, brother. What was the what was the guy's name we're supposed to find here and kill? Hold on, it wasn't Antonius, was it? Oh, okay, we have to we have to find Pius and then whisk him away. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. I've read one of the manuscripts. This is the garden, one of the novices. A place I for silent contemplation cry. and meditation. It's not touching, is it? Touching? More Centuries like ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, Saint Procopius. No his earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, 
punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. The library, the pride of our monastery, a trove of learning. We don't just read books here, we also copy them. You too will learn how. And that's all. Today you are still free from duty, but tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. Oh, really? I can ask for lockpicks. Uh, yeah, sure. It occurs to me you might be the man to ask. I'm looking for some lockpicks. Do you know anyone in the monastery who could help me? Lockpicks? You surprise me, brother. And you, a nobleman's son. But you could ask Brother Solarius. They say he used to be a thief. Okay. I need to make a confession. I'm no priest, but tell me what you've done. It's probably nothing to worry about. I'm here in the monastery looking for a thief. He had a hand in burning down the Neuhof stud. You don't say. And who are you to take such an interest? Someone whose job it is to investigate the case, find the perpetrators and make sure they get the punishment they deserve. Punishment? Do you intend to punish them here, in the monastery? I don't know yet. I'm still just on their trail. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief. If I knew anything, I'd tell you. But I suppose it must be one of the novices. I've only recently heard about the Neuhof incident. Nor the other brethren have been here much longer than that. I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices. But still, I don't know which one he could be. Three? Please, leave me out of it. And you're right that it could be any one of them. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of things, but a monk isn't one of them. And Yodok is a slimy worm. It wouldn't surprise me if he was behind that massacre. Actually, the more I think about it, the less I like that Yodok. He's a treacherous rat who'd do anything to get in someone's good books. The thought of Yodok at Neuhof since chills up my spine. <sighs> Maybe you're right. It's not a pretty thought. Thanks for your help, and please don't say a word to anyone. Don't fret, my friend. Your secrets are locked inside my lips. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. But officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Well, I just got here, man. So what about this abbot? Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevlas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. What are the roles of the various monks here? 
Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rule. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Will you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim, and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother, and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange, but I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. Yeah, but man, women, drink, fun, you know? Okay, so uh, we gotta go and talk to some people and find out who Pius is. We have the day to ourselves so we can take our time going around and seeing people, I guess. So let's see here, who are you? Novice uh, Lucas. I talk to you for a second here, Lucas. You look like you might be the kind of person that might burn down a stud farm. Man, when they get in their animation, like it's really annoying that you can't stop and to talk to him. Come on, there we go. I'm Gregor, a novice. I saw you at the ceremony. I know. It was hard not to notice you. And you are? Lucas, also a novice. Don't get upset, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm happiest alone. Well, that's too bad, because I want to talk to you, Lucas. Uh, tell me about yourself. Will you tell me something about yourself? I, there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you had before, that sort of thing. I'm a novice, and my monastic name is Lucas. Nothing else matters. Come on. Is there really nothing at all you can tell me? I could, but I don't want to. I'm sorry, I... I want to stay focused on work and prayer, not on who I once was. I never will be again. What has been isn't important for us. We cast the past aside when we walked through the monastery gates and took our oath. Never forget that. Hmm, quite suspicious. If you could, who would you vote for to be the abbot? But I can't vote, so what's the point of worry? Ask Antonius. He often talks about it, and I'm sure he has an opinion. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but ask away. Tell me about Antonius. I'd like to, but there's nothing to tell. I've never spoken to him. And I've never asked about him. Thank you, that's very helpful. You really don't know anything about anyone? Well, thanks anyway. Don't get upset. I'm sorry I can't tell you more. I just haven't felt like getting to know anyone yet. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Well, that's all. Okay, well, uh, Lucas is highly suspicious because he doesn't know anything about anybody, he won't tell me anything about himself. Uh, sure, maybe he's ashamed and all that, but at the same time, it is rather... Suspicious, brother librarian. Peace. What do you desire, brother Gregor? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Can you tell me something about the rule of Saint Benedict? Ha! Seven centuries ago, Saint Benedict of Nursia wrote a collection of monastic rules, which we still follow today. They're read at every meal. The fundamental precepts are obedience, work, and prayer. We're fully devoted to serving God. The outside world, beyond the monastery walls, is foreign to us. Do you never want to know what's going on out there? And what should be going on. The sky is just as blue, and the grass is just as green. Perhaps the rulers change, but the greatest ruler of them all will remain unchanged through the ages. I'm interested in the monastery's history. Hmm. It was founded by Saint Procopius 500 years ago. After his death, heretics occupied the place for some time. 
but then the order was restored and brothers of the true faith returned. Heretics, you say? They wanted to worship God with some foreign rituals in a language foreign to God. They were driven away and their books burned. Can you leave the monastery? <laughs> Where would you go? You have everything you need here. Anyway, other doors here are closed and locked tight, so no one can get in or out. What are the roles of the various monks here? Well, the abbot is the head, but he's not here. Then there's the prior and the sub-prior, the librarian, the porter, and many others. As a novice, you should be particularly mindful of the circators. They're the ones who maintain discipline and punish bad behavior. Who's in charge of things around here? Abbot Peter is the administrator of the monastery, but you won't see him. He's always traveling, and on top of that, he's old and infirm. Perhaps the good Lord will bless him with many more years of life. And what happens when the old abbot dies? Then we elect a new one. Tell me something about life here. Prayer, work, obedience. That just about sums it up. Okay, um... Sure, let's ask if we can help out. Is there anything I can do to help here? I'm glad you asked. There's one thing, a silly thing, really. I haven't thought to mention it to anyone before. But not long ago, a brother brought me a crumpled piece of parchment. He says he found it rolled up in a hole in the wall. The thing is, it was a page from Ovid. Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Wow, the art of love, huh? So, should I put it back together? Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely! Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Okay, sure. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll be most grateful. Alright. Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely work. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it, but as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. Where should I look? If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere, from the garden to the refectory. Ugh, jeez. That's gonna be difficult. All right. Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. Okay. All right, so the records are in the chambers. I might find out there. That's a pretty good clue right there, I think. So, we're going to have to do that, and to do that we need lockpicks, and um, for lockpicks we need to find the guy, I forget his name already guys, I don't remember who it was, but yeah, we got to find that guy and get some lockpicks. So, anyways guys, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode, uh, next episode we'll do more investigating here in the monastery and find out more about stuff, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.
Jako ozy zejbrajem tu sobie.